small and compact Bill McChesney, the 21-year-old American, in the middle of... Uh, with Bren leading on, Ovet in second. McChesney, Bins and Tracy. Ball, two laps to go. Bins, Ovet, Brendan, Tracy, McChesney. A little helping hand there, not a push, just to let the youngster know that he was on his shoulder. Perfectly poised. Well, there's no doubt about who's got the sprint finish here. And Ovid saving it. McChesney wants uh, Ovid to go, and Ovid looks to see who else will take it. And Tracy says, I'll go. But McChesney goes with him. Now, that was strange, because he wanted somebody to go. And now they hear the bell. Ovid goes past Tracy, and onto the shoulder of the American. Bren's in fourth, but can't close the gap. Ovid, again, supremely poised. The American is punching fairly hard at this stage with 300 metres to go. The American looks as though he's going for home. Ovid still looks oh so relaxed. Tracy looks as though he's pushing a little bit. Ovid looks to see where the opposition is. Upright. Beautifully relaxed. 200 metres to go. And one feels that there's only one man with a killer threat there. Ovid looks to see where Tracy is. McChesney, and Ovid goes, has a look, and smiles. He's, Tracy's going after him. And he's got a race on his hands, and Steve's got to run. And it's done him the world of good. He's got to go for the line. Well done, John Tracy, and well done, Steve. Oh, and he's got it! And Tracy may have stolen it. He might just have stolen it, in which case Steve has only got himself to blame. It was a marvellous run. He won't begrudge Tracy, I know that. He'll not begrudge him, but Tracy, the mudlark, has sneaked it in 1327.8, and I'm sure he stole it on the line. John Tracy says, yes, it was me. What a way to finish the evening. Bryn says, what happened to you? And Steve must have thought that he had that absolutely sewn up. Marvellous run, a lovely race. But as they came to the line, let's look at it again. This is where Ovid had his nonchalant wave to the crowd. The race is his, he's claimed it. Tracy stretches his legs, looks awkward by the side of Ovid. Ovid has a look, where's the challenge coming from? Stretches his legs again and goes away. Now normally that gap would open, it would be five or six metres, and now Ovid relaxes again because nobody generally comes back at him. But what about that? The torso on the line, if we inch that along, we can see that I think John Tracy got it. What a surprise.